Hi everyone, welcome back. A good farmer is someone who has prepared the ground, sown the seed, fertilized the growing crop, waters it, and then finally he harvests it. One thing is for certain, the seed will produce the harvest. You know, amazingly, they've taken seeds out of the, the tombs of the pharaohs, maize seeds, and put in the right environment, those seeds, no matter how old they are, they will grow. The fact is that you cannot reap if we have not sown. So we need to be careful how we sow. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 6 that we're not to be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever we sow, that we will reap. If we sow to the flesh, of the flesh we will reap corruption. But if we sow to the Spirit, of the Spirit we will reap life everlasting. So, we have a choice in everyday life. What seed are we sowing? If I am sowing to my flesh, then I will reap things of the flesh. You know, sometimes in our personal relationships, instead of reacting or responding to what is happening by the Spirit and allowing God to lead us, what happens is we respond in the flesh. We say things and we do things. And all we're doing is sowing bad seed. Not just in our own lives, but in the relationship. You know, I often hear people who say, I am praying for my husband to be born again. And yet that wife or that, that person will constantly sow bad seed. There will be criticism. There will be judgment. There will be a religious attitude. We can't expect good harvest if we're sowing bad seed. If we put in tomatoes, we don't get oranges. If you put in, in tomatoes, you get tomatoes. So we need to be careful what we say and what we sow in our lives and in relationships. It's very important because we're not just preparing for this life, but as we see that when we sow in the Spirit, we are preparing for life everlasting. It means that when I'm sowing diligently today, the time will come where I will reap. So if I'm sowing day in and day out, I'm not sowing in the flesh, I'm not sowing in the emotions, I'm not sowing in my own understanding, but I'm sowing in the Spirit, then of the Spirit I will reap. That which is birthed of the Spirit will be of, of the Spirit, and that which is of the flesh is of the flesh. So it's a real challenge to each and every one of us. What seed are you sowing?